coming up. I see how they execute people in Barbados. See if I can swallow prison food. And what is that? Is that onion? And meet one of the country's most notorious criminals. Yeah. What's your name? Peter Bradshaw. I'm Will Meller and this is my third day of experiencing life as an inmate in Dodd's prison, Barbados. Coming up, I'm forced to taste prison food, come face to face with a notorious murderer and see how they execute people in Barbados. He's in tremendous shape. I'd come face to face with some brutal men, murderers, rapists, drug dealers and the prison kept them under tight control. But I felt no hostility from the inmates. They were opening up and telling me all kinds of things. But what I was about to see was an eye-opener, to say the least. Okay. So, um... What's it called? No, 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 no. That's the hand of... I know, I know. No, no, it's, got, it's called a boogaloo. This, this is the hand of... What is you, you break it down and you get some small pieces and turn them into a ball, something like a marble. Yeah. And you use them as boogaloos. What's a boogaloo? They say a boogaloo is something that gives the girls multiple orgasms. It's from the Hindu, Hindu manual and stuff like that. Trapped in prison with no female company, these men were still mutilating their penises. To make what? a pocket. Yeah. You use something to make a pocket. Are you mad, man? You're gonna skip it. You're gonna cut. You're gonna cut. Yeah. And you insert a ball. Yeah. yeah. So does it go through like a loop thing? Or is it no. You got skin yeah. under there. Yeah. That you could pull back the skin. You know you pull back yeah. the skin. Right. You just slit the skin. Make a pocket. Yeah. With a spoon or something. Yeah. And then you push the ball inside. And the ball is supposed to give a woman a multiple orgasm. Yes. Yeah. The ball rotate while it inside it rotate. Right, hands up, who's used this thing? <laughs> See his hands. His hands were like that. Oh, yeah. uh, is it is it painful? No, no, no. Does it work? Yeah, yeah. Does the lady yeah, like yeah. it? Love it, love it. If love it. it. A, a lady would got to be crazy to leave a bottle of bubble. <laughs> <laughs> So you can take it out, you can put no, it back in. Take it out. The original is pearls. You do it with pearls. Right. But we ain't got no pearls, so... So you use that? We use oh, it's called a we use dominoes or plastic handles. Dominoes? Yeah. yeah. Dominoes. Yeah. So they call, they call you like domino dick instead of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They call the guys Boogaloo Boss. Boogaloo Boss? Yeah. So, boogaloo so, boss. If you, so if you've got a, if you've got a, if you've got a lump, in your penis, you're a boogaloo boss. Yeah, you're the boss. Yeah, I got seven. You got seven? <laughs> and that's Come mine. on. <laughs> I was about to be gobsmacked. I can't imagine putting a blade or a knife within six foot of my knob. Not too sure about that. Oh, I'm happy not being a boogaloo the boss. Girls, the girl's going crazy. The girl's going crazy. Oh, what happens when you get an erection on? I must hurt though. No, they're not hurt. They don't hurt. You don't even feel it. That's not the skin. That was in one that uh, was in the block we was in yesterday. There was a guy in the shower and he had loads of knobbly bits and I was like, whoa, he needs to see a doctor, but obviously, obviously he's a demon in the sack. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He put me off my lunch. <laughs> It was lunchtime, and I wasn't looking forward to my first taste of prison food. Melo. Melo. Yeah. Wow. See? Is that good? What is that? Is that onion? There's no flavour to this, but... This is normal. Every day. There's no change. The rice always tastes like this. As, as you can see, you're the only person that got fish. Yeah, why am I the only person that got fish? I can came where to guess. So that's why I got fish because I'm the treat me special. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't see no fish. Did I get vegetables? Uh, yeah. Oh, that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so ask me vegetables. 
I, th I thought the fish wasn't bad. The fish was okay. It was passable. But the rice, the way they cook the rice, it's just, it's just like stodge. So there's no flavour to it. There's no taste. And, um, and uh, I like rice and peas, you know. And um, if we had a bit of West Indian hot sauce and some garlic and onions, then maybe I could eat it. But the fact is, all you got to do is look around, and, and everybody here is starving. And if you look at everyone's <laughs> plate, and it'll tell you the story. Yeah, rubbish. The fact that they don't call it food, they call it mood. To be honest, tasting the food was it was a bit of an eye opener. I mean, it's prison, prison food, so you expect it's going to be bad. I mean. They're in there because they've committed a crime and obviously they deserve to be in there. So you can't expect some great, you know, five-star food. I was getting on so well with everyone, it was hard to remember they were dangerous criminals. But nothing prepared me for the next part of the journey. I was being taken to maximum security to meet one of the country's most notorious prisoners. Peter Bradshaw was convicted of murdering a man during an armed robbery and was sentenced to death. Give me that sword. You can already sort of sense there's a bit more agitation in here. You can just, I don't know, there's just a bit of air of it, a bit of air of agitation. You can, just looking around, you can see more. You can actually hear them through the doors. Head on out, man. Hey, it's a soft room, man. Hi. Hello, my friend. How are you? 19, the tender age of 19. 19. Charged with two other poor girls from murder. Murder of a plantation owner. Yeah. I was convicted, sentenced to death. When I was living on death row, that's where death row yeah, 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 The is adjacent to that area. Yeah. Like how you got it down this side now, yes. it is adjacent to this area down yes. here, the same way. So living on security area, usually because of a small prison, the gallus was not separated from where condemned men. Okay, so yeah. you have to pass and see it every day going and coming. It's a constant scene. Yeah. It's always on the mind. I was 19 years old. How old are you now? I'm 43 years. This is 23 years I'm in jail. This is a cage. Right now we are trapped, not only, not only as a sentence, we have a long sentence, but we are trapped in our minds. We can't, we can't, even if we change, even if we're willing to change, there's no help from the system. Nobody's reaching out their hand to help us. We keep calling and we calling, we calling, give us a chance, give us a chance. All they are saying, you have committed a crime. We will get to you if we feel to get to you. Are you the same man you were when you were 19? Can't be the same man. I'm mature, and the man that, I, that you might hear and I reflect now is a far different. I was a boy then. I'm a man now. Bradshaw spent so long on death row, the courts changed his sentence to life in prison. He's a convicted murderer. I should hate this man. But I'm feeling sorry for him. And when my dad was in prison, he knew he was coming out. Bradshaw may never leave prison. I don't know why, I just feel really sick. I just feel really faint and fucking... I, I, do you know what, I don't know whether it was the heat in there or what, cause I was sweating, but I just felt really dizzy and faint. And I couldn't cope with that. He's been there since he was 19. I know he's committed a murder, then if he killed my son, I'd want him to be in for life, I'd want him to be dead, maybe, but... <laughs> I, don't know what it, I don't know what it is. If he's, the, if he's not a changed man after this length of time, then why don't they put him to death then? They're just going to leave him here to rot. The prison wouldn't let me see the gallows in their new model prison, but they did take me under guard to their old prison, where Bradshaw had served 20 years of his sentence. This was the only prison in Barbados until three years ago, when prisoners rioted, took over and burnt it down. This is actually where, in the room here, which is considered Stinks. the building manager room for her. I was taken to the gallows. Barbados still has the death penalty, a penalty delivered by hanging. So as we go through this gate, we're onto death row. We're onto the death row, of course. And these will all be sentenced to death by hanging. If you take a look through here, you actually see the whole mechanism of the gallows.
slightly disturbing. <sighs> Just to think that people went, this was the room, the last room they was in.